So Cole here with Younger Every Day. It took us a couple hours to get hooked up for our first time, but we're hooked up, ready to roll out. You excited? <laughs> That's done, we're, we're ready to go, so. This is the end of our first actual day pulling our fifth wheel. It was eventful. Checkout time at our RV park was 11 o'clock this morning. Fortunately, they allowed us to get a little later checkout. We had already shut down a lot of stuff the night before, thanks to the help of my older brother-in-law and sister-in-law and their three kids. They helped us amazingly three or four o'clock and called and said, hey, uh, we saw you're still on the site. You guys gonna make it out? I said, well, I think, I think we'll get out in the next hour. It's just slow. The man and woman moving over showed up. We started to roll out. As I'm going, I'm thinking, wow, the trailer brakes don't seem to be doing anything. Using the trailer brake controller in the truck, I'm stepping on the brakes and it doesn't really see anything. In fact, if anything, it, it kind of felt a lot like wag the dog, right? So the trailer's wagging the truck. I make a block, go back, and the guy who's moving into the spot is there, and I just went up and asked him, I said, hey, how do you know the trailer brakes work? And I also talked to the Park Coast Cowboy, and so uh, the, the guy who was moving in, by the way, is Isaac and Sarah. So Isaac comes over and says, hey, let's take a look. So we went and looked, and sure enough, the trailer brake wasn't working. <clears throat> Another guy from the park, Josh, came over, and he had a fuse puller and also a fuse tester, so we checked that out. Couldn't find a bad fuse. In fact, I couldn't find a trailer brake fuse. Many thanks to Isaac and Sarah. Many thanks to Bob, Cowboy, Josh, and also to Ann. Shout out to Ann for letting us have that late checkout. Uh, everybody, I really appreciate it. I told Dawn people were just coming out of the woodwork to help us. We decided, hey, let's go on down the road. We've tried everything. I can use the exhaust brake, plus the truck brakes should be okay. And here we are, only mm, coming up on 3 a.m. We learned some things. A lot of stuff fell over. In fact, trim pieces fell off. There was a lot more movement than I really expected. But it's like taking your house and putting it through an earthquake. So, I don't know, I probably should have expected worse. We're at Horseshoe RV Park in Ranger, Texas. We're about ready to head out. And uh, we got, got stuff packed up a little bit faster today, figured out things that we needed to secure. Used the nail gun to secure the trim that came down, although I had to charge it first. And uh, we tried to get everything kind of back in a more secure position than it was now that we know which way things might fall. So hopefully we're good, but I wanted to give you a little pan shot of this uh, horseshoe RV park here. So there's the Suburban and the truck behind me. It's a nice little place for us to have been overnight. So now we're ready to roll out. Say goodbye, babe. <laughs> we'll uh, catch up at the next stop. We just left Ranger and I looked in the rear view and I noticed a gap here on the slide to our bedroom. It seemed like it kind of went in funny when I was running in. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, let's go ahead and go inside and see it. Okay, so. I'm gonna slide out. This is slide number one. It sounded good going out. Let's see if it'll come back in straight. Okay, something up here. Let's see. Just run in and see what happens here. Looks like that one's not keeping up or something. Maybe we got it in all the way this time. Let's go take a look outside. Gosh, it's hot in here. So it went in further, but it is still not in all the way. I have no idea why that would be. I don't think there's anything in the way. I guess I'll try running it out and running it back in again, and we'll see what happens. So I ran it out again, and when I started bringing it in, I stood on the the right hand side of the bed and push towards the rear of the trailer a little bit to try to kind of readjust it. I don't know if that fixed it or what, but this time when it ran in, it kept going on this side and got it all the way in. So we're good to go now. 
the joys of uh, moving your house with you everywhere you go. So, all right, now we'll catch up with you, hopefully at our next official stop. So here's the thing. This is like taking two different road trips. Our first part of the road trip is to Vancouver. And then we're gonna go on a cruise and then we're gonna go on another road trip down to, Cal down to California. California. <laughs> so we're taking two big long road trips with a cruise in the middle. So this is the first road trip. Did you enjoy our last road trips? Yes, but Okay, so that's it. New stuff. We're gonna be stopping. But we haven't. But we're so gonna we I can't say anything until we get to the fun part. But, I know, but it's not now. But, but <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. But my point is that the fun part doesn't just start in Alaska. No, it's it should really start hard. tomorrow. It was supposed to start today, but then we had problems with the truck. So we have fun being together and we're on the road, so that's a fun road trip. Right? Really? <laughs> it's not, so you're done. You don't want to do this anymore? No, it's fun. Well, it's then. just we have to do the fun part. The even more fun part. Oh, no, the even more funner part. That was good English there. What do you have to say about our trip so far? This trip is like going to be amazing. I think you're right. I am so going to be so happy. What are you excited about for the trip? California. Okay. California. What about California? Rain. Huh? Rain. There's going to be rain in California? Okay, that's what you're excited about? I'm excited that we can do sand castle, like sand angel, and get to like swim. I'm gonna swim, and I'm also gonna be able to build sand snowman. Like sand So, Connor. What about you? What are you excited about on the trip and in California? California. Okay, bad idea. I'm going to surf. Bad idea. Yeah. You're going surfing? Yeah. California? Right. I think that would be fun. Then we'll walk And we can dance in the boat because there's a dancing room. There's a dancing room? There's a dancing room right here. No. Dancing. <laughs> Okay, say goodbye. Bye. 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 We are about to head to Abilene to see if we can find somebody who can hopefully figure out what's going on. We stopped at Franklin's Big Country RV here east of Abilene and they were nice enough to take a look at it. They plugged the meter up on the, the plug in the bed of the pickup and in the bumper and didn't get a signal on the trailer brake. So everything else is working, but that's not. Called a local Chevrolet dealer. They can't look at it till three o'clock tomorrow. So we're gonna go on to Lubbock and see if we can get somebody to look at it tomorrow. set up last night at a local KOA and now I'm on my way to Gene Messer Chevrolet called yesterday your 
Abilene to get an appointment for them to take a look at the truck and see if we can get this trailer brake controller thing figured out. Bring everything works out. So we need this trailer brake controller to function right so we can continue on our journey. Well, that was over quickly. I pulled in, super nice looking shop, talked to the service advisor and he said that they are about 30 days behind. We have to be in Washington in nine days. So can't do that one. <laughs> he recommended a couple of other local shops. I guess I'll give one of the local shops a call and hope that they can take a look at it and figure it out for me. Did a little research and found another local repair shop with good reviews. Called them up and they said that though they are busy, definitely get in and take a look at it, seeing as how we're traveling through need some help with the trailer brake so I'm gonna head over there now it's about 15 minutes away I just had the guys over at Shepherd's Auto Care take a look at the truck we tested a bunch of fuses they plugged in a tester on the harness itself in the back and said everything appeared to be working properly so they sent me away no charge you know, I was there about 45 minutes or so so now I'm headed back to the trailer to hook up the wiring and see if we get some output uh, with the truck hooked up. I am praying that that'll work because that would be so great if it were that simple so we can get on down the road today. Just pulled out of the KOA here in Lubbock. Nice gentleman offered to hook up his adapter and see if we got anything on it, but he didn't have a fifth wheel so we couldn't actually try moving it and see if the brakes work. But then he helped me hook up my truck and check it again. And he and I both think that still the controller is not sending a signal. So we're headed now to Brandon's Auto on the south side of Lubbock to see if he can take a look at the controller. This is round four and the guys here at Brandon's Auto Repair and Diesel Service, Brandon checked it out and he said, hey, you're not getting a signal to your connector at the back of your truck, but he plugged in a scanner in the front and said, but your trailer brake is sending the signal. He said, if I could just back in the trailer disconnected and then park the truck where they can get it when they're done, he can get in there and, and start taking that wiring and checking it out and see where there's a problem and try to figure out where the signal is stopping so we can get this thing fixed and get back on the road. I backed the fifth wheel in here. It was about a 120 point turn to get it there, but I got it in there. You can, you can back one around if you're patient enough. I understand now why a fifth wheel is so good, because I was able to get a lot of mobility out of that. So Dawn was my spotter in the back. So you can see we put this in here like a glove. We're gonna go get a maybe some lunch and you need an oil change in the Suburban. So we're gonna take everybody with us and go do that and then check back in with them in a little bit. All right, so I'm sitting down here by the pickup. Brandon has just been outstanding today. He got us in about 1.15 to look at the truck, put a scanner on it, check it out, and then he's had it in five hours. And I'm gonna let him explain it here in a minute, but basically he tracked down that whoever put the harness on the inside of the bed did a shoddy install, it looks like, and didn't connect it properly and things, so. He's just reconnecting back to factory, so we use the bumper. It looks like everything's going to work out real well. We've got actually output on the trailer brake now, so I'll let him talk here in a minute. Uh, I've just got to give him so much credit for getting me in, taking a look at this, and being exceptionally fair in his pricing. It really has blown me away just how much he's done to take care of us today. He's been telling me his story. It's a really cool story of his business in Lubbock and how he sold it, went to Wisconsin to become a partner in another business, and then it didn't turn out quite like they promised. And so he came back, worked at a Chevy dealer here in Lubbock for a few months, and then reopened his shop and is just having lots of business. But I definitely want to give him just an amazing credit for, I mean, the shop's great, but really it's the, the service and the care he's done. Just an amazing job taking care of us today on something that we were dead in the water. And I'm here with Brandon at uh, Brandon's Auto Repair and Diesel Services, right? This way. Brandon really did a great job, took care of us, got us in, and uh, and spent some serious time figuring out. I just want to let let you say and kind of tell you know what happened, what you found, and, and what you did to fix it. Well, let's just found some wiring that uh, wasn't properly crimped, uh, traced it out, re rewired it, um, double checked the voltage on the trailer brakes, and got it back up to go. 
I tell you, it's simple. <laughs> that's a lifesaver. I sure do appreciate your help today.